There is inevitably some surface hemorrhage associated with the construction of all scleral wounds, and gentle hemostasis of the feeder vessel is usually needed. This is best achieved using a fine gauge bipolar brush. Occasionally, however, deeper perforating vessels within the sclera may be damaged, resulting in reflux of blood into the eye. Typically, these are small vessels that cause only a gentle trickle of blood, as in this case. However, this needs to be dealt with promptly to prevent further accumulation of blood in the chamber. This can usually be readily achieved just by elevating the intraocular pressure using BSS to seal the main incision and then to tamponade the bleeding through one of the side ports. You can also use viscoelastic as a temporary measure if you prefer. If the bleeding isn't properly controlled at the time of surgery or a deep and larger vessel is involved, then a brisk hemorrhage like this can occur either at the time of surgery or during the early postoperative period. 